Hi guys, I'm here with Colin Ford of Coral Morphologic. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen his content. He made Coral City, which is all about the dredging in Miami that's led to the damaging of some coral reefs here. And so, could you tell us a little bit about an update on the dredging in Miami and what's going on since you made that documentary, Coral City? Yeah, so the dredging uh, continued on for at least another year. Uh, after we recorded Coral City and unfortunately we've seen a lot of smothering of the corals nearby where they were dredging um, from the silt and last summer and the summer before were really hot. There's been a lot of disease, a lot of bleaching um, all throughout South Florida reefs. Um, so it's really, you know, it's been, hasn't been the best news for Miami reefs. Um, but we're looking ahead towards the next dredge project that the Army Corps is going to be doing in 2017 in Fort Lauderdale, which is actually going to cut through a lot more reef, mm. um, and there's a lot more at stake there. Fortunately, the Army Corps is not planning on changing their dredging methods, um, even though other government agencies have, have really called them out for doing not really a great job. Um, but the only, I guess, good news is that the, the people of Palm Beach County uh, the port itself voted down dredging their port, so um, at least one of the ports in South Florida is not going to get dredged, and, and Palm Beach is, is really a wonderful, um, has, has really amazing marine environment, so uh, it's good that it's not going to get dredged because some of the best shore diving in the country is, is right uh, right near Palm Beach. So obviously you've been selling some corals here at the Frag Swap, but I know that you guys are trying to kind of get away from the aquaculture and yeah. get a little bit more and you're working on some other projects. So yeah. what are some of those other projects that you've been working on recently? So the next project that we have um, over the summer, we're going to be releasing some leggings and some um, bathing suits that are coral printed. Um, that's sort of one of the things we're trying to do is, is to introduce corals more into popular culture to get people who are not necessarily reef aquarists to kind of you know, fall in love with how beautiful the corals are. And, you know, in Miami, where the sun and the water is just a part of life here, we think it's a really kind of obvious and, and really um, it's, a, it's a great sort of use of the coral to bring it into fashion and get it into popular culture. Um, then I'll also be working on a project over the next year called, it's going to be a coffee table book called Coral Grown by Humans, and it is going to be... Uh, featuring really sort of like macro photography of corals that are 100% aquacultured and I'm going to also sort of tell the stories about why people aquaculture corals, why it's important, everything from high school kids growing corals in their bedrooms to you know, fisher folk in Bali uh, mariculturing corals for export um, to people like Ken Niedemeyer down in the Florida Keys that are growing corals for restoration and scientists who are growing corals uh, you know, in their laboratories. Um, so I really want to sort of tell the story of coral aquaculture because, you know, 30 years ago, people said that corals couldn't even really be grown at all. So, you know, we've, we've come a long way and the, and the hobby has had a lot to do with um, pushing the, the technology and sharing information. And uh, you know, now that I feel like the time has come to share with the rest of the world, um, you know, sort of just how far coral aquacultures come um, and, and the fact that it's really important in this day and age where, you know, the oceans and the coral reefs are suffering around the world and we are going to, you know, have to begin to thinking about certain conservation means that involve onshore aquaculture of corals. And you know, I think that the more that we can encourage people to learn coral aquaculture, um, you know, the better that it is overall for, for the coral reefs because you, know, you have people spending hundreds and thousands of dollars to keep these corals alive, which is you know, a real yeah. remarkable thing. So um, we're going to try to get this book out, have it published through Julian Sprung's Two Little Fishies, and, uh, and really try to aim not so much for the hobbyist market, but um, you know, for the types of people that might buy a coffee table book at a public aquarium gift shop or a science museum gift shop to you know, really kind of broaden the base of of uh, an interest in corals outside of just the hobby. Wow, those are some awesome projects, big ones that I'm definitely going to be following. Um, thanks so much for taking the time to talk to me. Something that I was telling him is as a videographer for reef aquariums and corals in general, I'm a huge fan of coral morphologic. 
So it was a pleasure to meet you today, and thanks yeah. so much for taking the time to talk to me. Thanks so much, George. I appreciate it.